So Revant Reddy is the newest Congress leader to shake hands with the Adani group. These are pictures from earlier today at an investment meeting where the new chief minister, absolutely nothing wrong in this. These are, this is the job of all chief ministers to do as much as possible for their state. The Adanis are big investors in Telangana. They do a lot of business and investment in Telangana already. And it's a routine investment meeting, but it completely flies in the face of the politics that has been played by Revant Reddy's party. Mosmi Singh, who tracks the Congress, is with me live. Mosmi, you know, this is going to constantly be used, uh, you know, to, to, to suggest that there is only hypocrisy in the attacks over the Hindenburg report because opposition leader after opposition leader, opposition state after opposition state is happy to continue doing biz business with Adani, putting the onus on the Modi government. Uh, you know, while claiming to be the, you know, righteous upholder of some kind of anti-corruption plank, while accusing Adani of, uh, you know, wrongdoing. Now it's Revant Reddy. After Gelot and Bagel and Pinarai Vijayan and Mamta Banerjee and who knows who else, now it's Revant Reddy. Right, Shiv. You know, Congress's stand has been really uh, not really clear as far as, uh, you know, shaking hands with the Adani uh, group is concerned. And, you know, Rahul Gandhi was put in a spot even earlier when uh, the then Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot uh, was in hobnobbing, hobnobbing with, uh, with Gautam Adani and praising Gautam Adani's uh, uh, company. And at that point of time, Rahul Gandhi had launched a frontal attack on the Adani group. Uh, naming Gautam Adani in every speech, uh, political speech, and considering that it's a very political attack of, uh, you know, saying that Prime Minister Narendra Modi's best friend Gautam Adani calls the shots in the government, uh, it really exposes uh, the Congress party, party's double speak as far as, you know, uh, uh, saying that our linen is very clean, uh, we are shaking hands with Karan Adani because we need investments in the state, but when it comes to political attack, uh, uh, the, the Indian government and Prime Minister Narendra Modi's uh, linen is stained uh, because uh, they, they are, uh, because Gautam Adani is calling the shots. It's really not clear and perhaps the Congress party uh, needs to do some internal thinking as far as, you know, uh, uh, magnifying or cl uh, clarifying its stand is concerned. And that's why, you know, in, even in the India Alliance meeting, we've seen there is a difference of opinion as far as attacking Gautam Adani is concerned. Okay, so the Congress wants to run with the hares and hunt with the hounds and invest a great deal of political capital on an issue which didn't, uh, you know, really turn out with any real political resonance, at least in the recent elections. They won handsomely in Telangana, and that's where they're shaking hands with the Adanis. Well, the public is seeing everything. Thanks very much, Mosmi, for joining us on that.